Hey, what's up, guys? E back with another action figure review. Today, we are looking at the Bandai Tamashii Nations SH Figures Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta figure from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. It's our same traditional design with the seal of authenticity on the front side there. The side shows some images. The back side shows some images as well. Just released alongside the Broly. Check out that review if you haven't done so already. He is up already. Uh, and check out the movie if you haven't done so already. Because it's a fantastic film. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Check out agelessgeeks.com to pick up your Gogeta to pre-order him if you want the US release or to order the Japanese release if you want him now. Check out the links down below. And also officially making the canon, we have Gogeta. Those who don't know, this Gogeta fusion form was actually not canon. The whole entire Janemba movie uh, was not canon and that's when they introduced the Gogeta fusion so the entire time they never really fused that way on the TV show, which was quite interesting for most people. But uh, for fans of the show, they knew that already. It was only Vegeta was uh, the only canon fusion between Goku and Vegeta with the Patara earrings. Gogeta fusion, Gogeta, was with um, Trunks and Goten when they turned into Gotenks. Uh, that was their fusion dance into their version of Gogeta. As you see, it's the similarities with the armor uh, top piece and, and all. So uh, here's the figure. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta based off the Super uh, Broly or sorry, the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Uh, as shown there, we get a God form head, which is the blue head with uh, three face plates including the one on the figure itself then we get one base head so you can have him non super saiyan god uh, but only one face you don't get alternate faces with this head so let's take a closer look at the accessories right now so this is the face packaged in with the figure and then he comes with a pair of fists our alternatives consist of a screaming face with the open mouth and then we get a smirking face for the super saiyan god form of the hair and then our basic form we have our powered down gogeta here with black hair and only this one face this face actually comes off but there isn't any other alternate uh, faces that you can put on this head and people just love messaging me while i do reviews uh, here are a pair of open blasting hands, grabbing hands, and these hands where you can get them into a martial arts pose. Alright, so there you have it for the accessories. Pretty basic when it comes to the hands and the faces. We got our traditional poses and facial expressions here. So, here we go. Here's the figure. Very nice. Very nicely done. Um, very easy repaint they could do into the non-canon Gogeta. Hopefully they do the non-canon uh, Gogeta because that is um, for me is it's uh, you know I, I'm used to the older stuff so for me I like it a little bit better with that color it doesn't hurt to give us a repaint of the same figure so maybe an exclusive down the road could be a Gogeta from that Janemba movie uh, using this exact same figure here uh, so it overall looks good they got the sculpt down good got the 2.0 body got the armor pieces looking nice here Overall, looks phenomenal. So the face looks good. Uh, one thing I noticed is that the nose kind of seems long. I don't know if it's just me, but you can look at that right there. Seems longer than usual. Like, I just picked up uh, a Vegeta here, and his nose isn't as long as that one. And then this Super Saiyan 3 Goku's nose isn't as long as that one, if you look at it from the side. So it does look a little weird. Is it too long? I don't know. Maybe when they fuse, they get longer noses. Hey, who knows? But uh, in terms of the articulation of the figure, the head's going to swivel left and right here. The face kind of pops off. Well, it does pop off. It doesn't kind of pop off. It pops off. It seems just like the Gotenks. Isn't that strange? So the Gotenks one did the same thing. When you turn the head all the way, it pushes it out. So you don't want to turn it all the way or else it will fall out. Here, let's get it back in. There you go. So he looks up, uh, not too far because of that collar piece here, hinders it. Uh, so it is what it is. He looks down though, so that's good. Got that neck articulation there, which is decent, which is nice, you know. Uh, our socket, our butterfly joints for the shoulders are present here, so that's great. So you can get him uh, swinging forward as so. The arms are going to go forward and back, in and out. There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, there's a swivel at the wrist with a hinge. The shoulder pieces are pegged in from the back here. 
So you see, uh, so that's gonna move around whichever way you want so it doesn't hinder his arm movement, which is nice. We have a diaphragm joint at the torso uh, that can swivel and bend back until you see a gap and then it bends forward until you can probably see a gap in the back. Yeah, a little bit. And there's a waist swivel and you can move it around at the waist too. 2.0 legs, we all know this and love this so he can kick forward just fine. Goes back uh, just fine. In and out, you can do a split here. Uh, we can get a thigh swivel going. Also, this waist piece actually rotates around, so you can get it to the front if you want, but if you want the more accurate look, it's to the side here. Uh, we get a thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Then we get uh, the ankles. There's no boot cut, but we do get an ankle hinge that goes forward and back. We get a pivot, a swivel, and a toe hinge. So there is no Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta without this Broly from the of course, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. These two made their debuts in that film. And here he is next to Broly getting towered over. This Broly is huge. It's about the same height as the non-canon Broly released a couple years ago for figure arts as well. But there's your size comparison next to the two. And there's the non-canon Broly just for the heck of it. And we don't have the new and improved uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and... Uh, Goku figures yet, but these are the first ones they release in their uh, original geese from the beginning of Dragon Ball Super. So here is that Goku next to the Gogeta, and then here is uh, the Vegeta next to the Gogeta here. So that's how they stack up. In our two fusion dance figures, we have the Gogeta next to the Gotenks. And let's throw one more in here. We have our Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito Fusion with the Patara earrings. This was the World Tour exclusive, and it was the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Just a repaint of their Vegito, so they could simply do that with this Gogeta uh, and do it the other way around and make the non-canon. And I thank everyone for joining me on my review of the SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Super Broly, the Super Saiyan god super saiyan gogeta figure don't forget to leave a like don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already till next time have a great day bye